Hey guys, Sam here from 3D. In this short tutorial, I would like to show you how you can change the color of the skin and also some advanced way how you can combine hair with different types of birds. But as a first thing, I would like to mention that in the first tutorial, I showed you how you can change the color of the hair, color of the clothes, color of the eyeglasses. And also I showed you how you can manage and the generator which we created also how you can change the lights how you can render and so on so there there are basic tips how you can work with avatars so let's take a look on how we can change the skin right now so i'm in the pose mode i need i need to go to the object mode so i click on the skin and here what you can see is basically that we are using two shaders one shader is dark Another shader is basically the, the orangish, which is white, white skin, should, it should represent white skin. Now, also in the generator, if I click on the generator, and with the mouse wheel, I'm changing the view. So I'm going to the pose mode, and here, basically, that is it. That I, this is how I can change the skin color. Okay, but if you want to change this two colors to different one you can basically go in the object mode and here are the shaders as you can see I can change it to any color I want to so for example I want to have it a little bit more whitish I can change it and if I go here again to pose mode to the generator this is how you can easily change it the same thing for the dark color I just need to go to a different shader and here I just need to change it that's it it's that simple okay let's take a look on something more advanced how you can combine hair with beard so I'm going to the, uh, the generator I need to click on generator then I can go to the pose let's say I'm going to use the type 0 and this one type 12 I'm going to, to have it off so what is important to mention is that I was recording it into animation if I don't want to destroy the previous previous uh, animation I need to basically change it back how it was so this is it okay let's say I want to combine this hair with a hair of for example I think it would be interesting to, I'm going to the, change the viewport shading to be faster okay and I want this bird to combine so now what I need to do is basically go clicking on the object mode clicking on the bird okay this is the hair 9 now I'm going to um, copy it I'm going to duplicate it with shift D I'm going to click on the model I'm going to click shift D now if you if you want to just copy it just click with the mouse and now I want to right I want to get the rate of of the driver so I'm going to here which I duplicated and now I'm going to click on this disable in viewports and disable in, in renders how to get this uh, TV and this camera is basically I'm, I'm clicking here in the restriction toggles and here it has here it has to be enabled so I'm going to click on the Delete, delete driver and now as you can see I'm going to this is the reason why I copied and du duplicated it because I don't want to destroy uh, the generator so I'm in the object mode and now look this is how it looks like and if I don't want to disable it in the viewports or disable in the render so now I need to get rid of I need to get rid of, of this upper part now I'm going to the edit mode 
and in the edit mode I'm going to change it to here are the faces select I'm going to select the face then I, I click the Control L or Control or Command L in my case right so again I'm going to select Command L select all and I, I need to basically delete for me vertices to delete vertices is working well so if there is something more I'm going to here again again command L I'm going to delete this part okay so this is how it is how it is it is and now I'm going to basically delete what was left now if I am on the object mode I can see that something is also here okay so now something is left so again to the edit mode then to select command L delete okay now this part let's try the edges and it's working perfectly Okay, and now I can combine it with a hair type, but let's say I want to have... Right, this is it. So, I accidentally... What happened is basically I accidentally changed the animation, but as you can see, if I'm on the last frame, this is how it is working. If you go back, you need to be sure that you will not affect the animation, so if you want to render only this frame, please uh, enable all of these settings if you want to disable it for other animation so it should work now and um, so this is how you can disable it so for this frame let's let's try to unselect all and I'm going to render image and we will see the, the outcome Okay, and for now I see that the beard is different color as the hair and also I see the difference here that basically the beard is not going smoothly to the, the hair. So what I need to basically change it, I'm going to close the render image and now I need to change the color of the beard. I'm clicking on the beard, I see that the color of the hair is on the material hair. I'm going to change the hair so I'm going to hair so this I'm changing the viewport shading to be sure that it's matched as I see it's matched and now right this is how it will look and now what is there is that I on the bird I don't see it's not smooth so I need to select, let's go to the edges, I want to select, let's say I want to select these edges. I click G and now I will just go up and that's it. If you want to be more precise, change the snap to the off. So now you, you are just changing it. But be sure that it's not going that direction. Okay, so this is it. Okay, if I click GX, it's going it's changing this like the X axis. If I'm, uh, I can move it only GY, it's going on the top. If I G, GZ, it's going to do Z axis. Alright, so I can change and I can play here. And that's it because it's mirrored, it's on both sides the same. Now, if I click if I click render, render image, I will get the image.
okay this is it if i'm happy with this i'm going i can go to the image and save as as you can see you can get even more combination with this simple pretty simple trick i think it's advanced but if you are not afraid go for it go for it because you can do pretty much nice decustomization based on this uh based on these avatars and i think it can be pretty funny to play with so have a nice day if you have any question please reach out to me at samuel uh, at 3d design thank you so much have a nice day and if you like our videos feel free to share them feel free to like them and feel free to spread the word what we do here in 3d thank you so much bye